I can put music in the rays because do you like music? What? You do. Do re mi fa so la di do. This is Lonnie Sue Johnson. At one time, not too long ago, she was a successful professional illustrator, a musician. She was a pilot and owned her own farm and horse. She had everything going for her. But one day, nearly five years ago, her life changed forever. Lonnie Sue was struck with viral encephalitis, which caused severe brain damage and as a result, almost complete amnesia. We got into the hospital room where she was, and um, we looked at her in the bed, could hardly recognize her. She couldn't talk, she couldn't walk, she didn't know what her hand was. It looked, she would hold it up as though she had never seen one before. This scan illustrates a normal brain on the left. To the right, Lonnie Sue's brain. The scan reveals damage to the temporal lobe and almost complete destruction of the hippocampus where almost all memories are processed. I'm amazed that I didn't cry, but I think we were so busy trying to understand and do something about it. It was being a mother all over again. That's what it really was. There was such an intense urgency of so many things to take care of. There was no time for emotion every day, seven days a week, just trying to do what we could to help move her forward. I miss having my own airport. You know, I don't know if there's any way I can ever get back into that part of my life, my own horse and my own freedom. I just. You know, you don't know what it's like not to be a free person. It's really upsetting. The damage to the brain caused a very rare form of amnesia. Lonnie Sue lost almost all of her past memory. Like the death of her father nearly 20 years ago, or that she had been married. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That would be great, because that's the months of the year. It's amazing. When you take A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, together, how you can combine them in different ways to make things that really intrigue people. But Lonnie Sue also has a little ability to make new memories. I put A down both columns, and then I put the alphabet next to it. Have you seen, have I said that before? Yes. Oh, I have, oh, sorry. One of the amazing things is that Although she has severe uh, memory impairment in her short and long-term memory of, of events, she still can remember how to play the viola. There was one time, uh, half a year into her recovery, where she played the viola for 45 minutes and was having so much fun. And no sooner had she put it in her, in the viola case to put it away, when my mother, encouraged by the, the good music and the signs of recovery, my mother said, how good to hear you play. And she said, oh, did I play? So we can see these uh, right next to each other abilities and disabilities, which are quite striking sometimes. Although the ability to still play music was a great triumph, art was what defined Lonnie Sue professionally. She had been published by the New York Times and created multiple covers for the New Yorker magazine. She also did work for the Boston Globe, the US government, and had illustrated dozens of books. While the amnesia was career ending, amazingly, art would become a crucial part to her recovery. And Lonnie Sue's mother, a successful artist in her own right, became instrumental in her beginning to create again. We tried to get her to draw, and she uh, 
couldn't touch the paper. She would look at the pen as though that was something unusual. Eventually, her mother began drawing shapes and Lani Su would copy them or draw into them. In this drawing, Lani Su's lines are in blue. I drew a dark green line and, uh, and uh, she started working on that. I think I drew both of these at once. And then she went on from there and she began to get some of her fantasy and some of the imagery that is reminiscent of some of the previous work. So it was, it was almost as though the fog was beginning to lift and she was beginning to change. Well, it's a language a visual language that you can reach everyone of every nationality. Um, and then writing is fun too, because you can at least reach Americans in English and English people too. It was 11 months following the illness that Lonnie Sue became fascinated with word search puzzles. This was a huge turning point. The puzzles would become the building block that began to enable her to draw on her own. And so unfortunately, this says no. M -N -O. But this could turn into a record. I, I like to do that. You know, a record that you put on your record player? Because mm -hmm. it looks like a, an, a record. So I'll make it perfectly circle, circular. See? There, see, recognize it. <laughs> what do you think about when you're when you're drawing, when you're doing your art? Kind of what's what's you know, sort of like what's going through your mind when you do when you do this sort of thing? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. That's what. It was fascinating that Lonnie Sue had always been demure and reserved, cheerful and thoughtful, but not overtly. Not a big personality. In fact, she never used to sing. Now, she's often referred to as the songbird when she works on her puzzle art. So the puzzles uh, have a very important role in her recovery, not only for regaining her language, but also for uh, drawing into the deep well of visual images that came out in her drawing, and then the integration as well of uh, the pictures and the words, the pictures and the language. Lonnie Sue's remarkable story and emerging art following her recovery led to the idea of an art and science exhibit. It was organized first at the Walters Art Museum in Baltimore, and then traveled here to the Morven Museum and Garden in Princeton. So hopefully people will come away thinking about what art means, what science means, how they're interrelated, um, and how stories just keep continuing. It's so much fun when you can illustrate a letter you say and put the thing with illustration that is difficult is that when you say illustration, you say the word ill. And that's not our favorite word, so I don't know why they came up with the word illustration. <coughs> and also there's illustrious. So I wonder if they came up with ill later. If she could, she would be doing her puzzles every waking moment of the day. If we have to go to a doctor's appointment, she's always wondering, well, when can I get back to my puzzles? Life is short. I have so much to do. She says, before I die, I want to leave behind art that makes people feel happy and feel good about themselves and other people. She said this over and over again. So one day I asked her, well, why is it so important that your art make people feel happy? And she said, because not everybody has a chance to smile enough. 